So here we are about to set sail for the first time ever with a sailboat powered entirely by e-bike gear. So it's a Grin hub motor with a super fast winding, phase runner motor controller and e-bike battery. Um, and this is our first attempt at trying to do marine propulsion uh, electric. Uh, so this boat here is a 25 foot sailboat that originally had a Yanmar 8 horsepower inboard diesel engine. Um, and 8 horsepower is a lot more power than e-bike motors run at, but it's also spinning at a much higher RPM. So at full speed, this uh, propeller shaft typically does, I think, 1200 RPM. And if you look at the torque required to do 8 horsepower at 1200 RPM, it ends up being around 30 Newton meters, which is precisely the continuous torque capability of our direct drive Grin motor. So we had a little brainwave thinking if we just got one of these e-bike motors wound for a faster speed, um, it should have the capability of replacing and uh, basically like a 160 kilogram inboard diesel engine setup uh, with a motor that weighs all of four kilos. So I'll just show you down here what's going on. Uh, so if we look, um, the, the original mounts for the Yanmar engine um, are pretty overkill for what we have in the end, just a little aluminum frame structure. Uh, the motor here is directly coupled to the propeller shaft, and I just used the disc mounting flange of the, uh, the standard disc side cover to make an adapter plate to the four bolts for the propeller coupling. And on this particular build on the back side of the motor, um, you'll see that I've also got additional instrumentation. There's a load cell, which is a very precise device for measuring forces, that's able to measure how much force the propeller is pushing on the boat. So when I'm driving with this, with this system, once I add the circuitry on here, I'll be able to know how many pounds, newtons, kilograms, whatever units you want, is pushing forwards on the hull. And if I know that information and the hull speed of the boat, then I have an exact measure of the mechanical power output of the propeller. Uh, this other load so that you see on the side, this is hooked up to a torque arm. All the torque of this motor is now coupled through this torque arm to a measuring device. So I have a super precise measurement of how much torque the motor is putting on the propeller. Now, given that we know the RPM of the motor and the torque it's producing, we get another very exact power measurement, which is the mechanical power output of the motor. So with those two values, the mechanical power of the motor and the mechanical thrust going on the sailboat, we have an exact real-time readout of the efficiency of our propeller. So at all riding conditions, we can see exactly how efficient the propeller is at converting motor rotational energy into forward thrust energy on the boat. And then we can quantify the performance differences between folding props, wider blades, different pitches in different kinds of sailing and boating scenarios. Um, and, uh, and this is something that would just be impossible to do with a conventional diesel engine because there's so much more mass and vibration. You wouldn't be able to have this kind of sensitive force measuring um, but because of this smooth, silent, and, and vibration-free behavior of an electric motor, we're able to have all of that instrumentation as part of a, a straightforward installation. Um, and, uh, and so we also have uh, electronically all the information on how many amps uh, and volts we have going into the motor, so we have the electrical power going in. So on the whole, this instrumented setup will let us measure electrical input power, mechanical motor power, and mechanical thrust from the propeller and let us know and display in real time the exact efficiency of the motor and the exact efficiency of the prop um, and hopefully allow for a very interesting modeling of boat behavior and, uh, and prediction of how different electric conversions will hold up or how, how well they'll perform and what you'll need for you know, battery capacity to go given distances and such. Um, so for us, this is a pretty fun and exciting project because we're, we're, we didn't have to do anything custom outside of our existing e-bike hardware other than getting this wound for a higher RPM. Uh, so this motor, typically our Grin motors, we do a five, six, and eight turn winding. Uh, the five turn is the fastest that we normally sell, which is at about 12 RPM per volt. Um, and on this one, we had a stator made with just three turns, and the three turn winding gives us closer to 20 RPM per volt. Um, 20 RPM per volt with a 72 volt battery should give us that 1400 RPM top speed capability in order to match the hull speed uh, that the sailboat needs. Um, but we suspect we'll mostly be using this at somewhat lower speeds because as you get up to that hull speed of the boat, your power consumption increases quite a bit. And given the sort of limited uh, energy stored in a battery bank, uh, we'll, you know, we would trade off a half a knot or one knot of speed if that means doubling our range. Um, and the, the quantified behavior of that we're hoping to get once we, we do some trips with all the measurements going on here. So if we come up above deck, so right now, uh, the controls, <laughs> this is a, a very temporary setup, but again, it is the same hardware that we have on our e-bike. The cycle analyst is showing us the RPM of the motor, and it's the cycle analyst 
as well as the temperature of the motor. So in this run, we'll get a sense to see how taxed the motor itself is. Um, I've just crudely wired up my Ford reverse switch with a momentary button, and I just have a potentiometer for my throttle. So as I turn this throttle, you'll start to hear the shaft spinning inside the boat. And poor guy is the only thing holding us from crashing into the marina. All right, so I think we're ready for maiden voyage. This is exciting. <laughs> Should I jump on? Yeah, I'm just gonna get you out. That's 300 watts. She's moving. Nice. So what are you at now? Uh, so now I'm at, so this is a thousand watts. Not yet, my hope would be to get a thousand watts of solar. Oh, so now I got extra turn. <laughs> um, but I don't have a, a hull speed indicator on the boat to see just how fast it's moving us. What is your sailing experience? And like you said, the barnacles might be a little bit of an impact to the hull speed uh, indicator. Have we at least crossed the two knot threshold in your estimate? <laughs> Yeah, I really do. Do look for it this year when we get a 72-volt battery in there. Uh, and crank it up. We should be able to get 5,000 watts. It should be you know, six and a half, seven horsepower. That should be mighty close to what 